What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority and we're taking a quick look of the LG G5 versus last year's LG G4. And the easiest place to start with these two devices is obviously the design because this is a very big design shift for LG this year. So with the G5, you're getting an all metal phone, but not only is it completely made of metal, it's also modular. The bottom of the phone comes out and you can still remove and replace the battery just like before and still maintain micro SD card expansion. Uh, with the G4, you have a plastic design or a combination of plastic and leather if you opt for the leather back. Um, and it definitely doesn't feel quite as premium as the G5, but the design is definitely a little bit more unique and stands out a little bit better. Whereas the G5 kind of took a step back in terms of design and focused more on hardware uh, usability and the uniqueness of this modular design. The screen on the G5 also went down from a 5.5 inch screen on the G4 to a 5.3 inch screen, but it still maintains the same quad HD resolution. And the other big difference with this screen here is that it's an always on display, uh, whereas with the G4, you didn't really get that feature. Um, so with the always on display, you're going to be able to see your notifications and other useful tidbits of information on this particular screen. Another difference that you're gonna notice is on the back, you'll notice that the power button is still there on the back of the G5, uh, but the volume rockers have been moved to the side, whereas on the G4, you have pretty much every single key at the reach of your index finger on the back side of the phone. The camera is also a pretty big difference. You have a dual camera setup on the G5, uh, which is very similar to the V10, but it's on the back instead of the front. And on the G4, you just have the single 16 megapixel camera. Uh, the camera on the G5 is also 16 megapixels as well, uh, but you also have the wide angle lens at eight megapixels. And this basically allows you to switch back and forth between the two in the UI. Uh, so you can go from wide angle shots or standard angle shots, which is a really cool feature uh, that only the G5 can do right now. But both of these phones uh, have pretty awesome cameras built in, so you're gonna be able to get quality photos from either one of these devices. As far as specs go, you're dealing with the very powerful Snapdragon 820 on the G5 and four gigabytes of RAM. And on the G4, you have the Snapdragon 808 and three gigabytes of RAM. Uh, internally, there's 32 gigs of onboard storage and micro SD card expansion on both. Uh, and as far as the battery goes, you have a 2800 milliamp hour battery on the G5, which is slightly smaller than the 3000 milliamp hour battery on the G4, but you do have USB type C on the G5, whereas the G4 uh, has the regular standard micro USB. The last big difference that you're gonna notice with these two phones is in the software. So the G5 is running on Android Marshmallow with a much cleaner version of LG's UI. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that there's no app drawer, but there's also less features as well. So there's no Q slide or Q memo or anything of that nature. And they're really focusing on just making the experience as clean and as streamlined as possible. Uh, whereas with the G4, you're getting a lot more bloatware and a lot more features, which may or may not be all that useful. And uh, the software is obviously not up to date with the current uh, Android Marshmallow. So uh, the G5 definitely is taking a lot of steps in the right direction as far as the software is concerned. But that's gonna do it for this quick comparison of the LG G5 versus the LG G4. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned to androidauthority.com for more of our MWC 2016 coverage.